in this video I will write you about e-invoicing. E-invoicing or electronic invoicing is a digital invoice for goods and services provided by the business company. This is an electronic authentication mechanism under GST. Under this, all the B2B invoices generated by a business whose aggregate turnover exceeds 20 crore will have to be authenticated on the GST portal. The invoice registration portal will issue a unique identification number for every invoice which is called as invoice reference number. To generate e-invoice on go through the Google EC, navigate to Tools, Configuration, Configuration. Under the Configuration menu, search as e-invoice. I'll find this under the GST configuration. In e-invoice options, we have four different features. That is, allow to generate IRN, allow to generate IRN automatically, and unrestrict print until IRN number is generated. Let us see the workflow of these features now. I'm selecting allow to generate IRN now. The invoice details can be viewed in the GST filing portal by clicking on Tools, Add-on Products and GST Filing. The GST filing portal will open in your default web browser. Log into the filing portal with your credentials and if the invoice details can be viewed in the GST filing web page. After opening the GST filing web page, click on e-invoice. As we have selected the option allow to generate IRM, after applying the required filters, select the invoices that you require to push to IRP and click on Generate IRN and push to IRP. After clicking on the Generate IRN tab, users can view the status in the completed tab. As you can see, the IRN number has been generated successfully. Also, if the given information are incorrect, it will validate while pushing to the IRP. For example, invalid GST number or a wrong HSN code or other such errors. The IRN will not be generated and those invoices will be available in the failed tab. The reasons can be checked on the reasons tab. On clicking here, the users can view the errors. Now if the user is enabling this particular feature, that is allow to generate IRN automatically, while saving the bill, the IRN will be generated automatically and pushed to the IRP. As we have enabled the configuration, while saving the invoice itself, the IRN number has been generated and it can be visible in the completed tab. Now if the user is selecting none, it will not generate IRN number. And if the user is selecting restrict print until IRN number is generated, in this case, bill print will be generated only if the IRN number is generated for the bill. Thank you for watching this video.